Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Kitzvah Shulchan Aruch and the laws of Muktzah. And he has a new category of Muktzah today called Noilad. Noilad means literally, Vahainu Davish in Ischadish Ayoyim, an item that came into being today on Shabbos. It didn't exist before Shabbos, and now here it is suddenly in the world. Kagoyim, for example, Eifamin Eish Shahusak Ayoyim. If you have ashes from a fire that was lit on Shabbos itself, Ayyidei Akum, a non-Jew lit a fire, and there's ashes that are left over. First of all, the fire didn't exist, and the ashes did not exist either. So too, if you have an egg that was laid on, on Shabbos, that means that before Shabbos began, there was no egg in the world. And now the Shabbos and the egg was laid, that egg is something, it's a new entity, and therefore it's, it's, it's called Noilad, and that's going to be Muksa. So too, apparently in the days of Nisan, in the springtime, there's like a liquid sap that would flow from the trees, and that comes out on Shabbos. That's muksa. And so too, there are things that even if they didn't come into being today, nevertheless, but they came through an act of the thing itself, as we'll see, shall you assume in last days ayom? Then you, they, that you're not that you yourself are not allowed to do on Shabbos. So then they're also going to be usher because of muktzah because we'll consider it to be in the category of noilad. Kagoyim perish enough You have you have a fruit tree, and the peros the fruits are there. So there's no noilad. They're not being born today. Nevertheless, if they fell off to the ground, oishe tal shenakum or a non-Jew came along and detached them. So since that it's now, that's something you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to remove ch- fruits from trees. That's like koitza, that's reaping. And therefore, even though now it's, ed- now it's an edible fruit, and it's, it's in your, in, let's say it's in your domain, it fell off in your yard, or the, the, go- the non-Jew comes along and he brings it to you. So nevertheless, since it came about in a way that you yourself are not allowed to do, therefore that's like a noilad, you can't, it's muksa. The cholav, shenech so too, if milk was milk from a cow on Shabbos, those are also malachas that a person has to do. The milk was there already, it's inside the cow, it just didn't get out of his udders yet, or her udders yet. And nevertheless, you're doing something, it's a malacha that you're not allowed to do, that somebody else did for you, therefore you're not allowed, you're not allowed to partake of it. The chedayma, similar ideas, gam ken asun betiltu, these things are muksa, so you can't even move them. So the fruit that's on the ground that fell off on Shabbos, you cannot move. The milk that came into the bucket on Shabbos, you're not allowed to move. Well, Pasha for Akum B'Shabbos. Interesting case over here if you have bread that was baked by a non Jew on Shabbos, Be'ir Sheruba Akum. If it's a city where the majority of the people are non Jews, then Mistama Adaita, the Akum Afo, which means that when this non Jew is baking the bread over there in his bakery, Mistama, we assume that he did it for all the non Jews that are there. He didn't have it for you in mind. He knows you're a Jew anyway, and you're not going to eat his bread on Shabbos. So if he baked it all for the, for the non Jewish people, then, if it is, even though it's Naila, the thing wasn't there, but if he did it for himself, he's allowed to make bread for himself. If it is a pressing circumstance, or mitzvah, for example, he doesn't have any food, or they're making a bris on Shabbos, and they don't have any bread, and so they need bread, in that extenuating circumstance only would a Jew be allowed to eat this bread on Shabbos. However, there are many of Paiskim, Allah authorities on the other side of the coin that say no matter what, you cannot partake of it. So if you find yourself in such a situation where you it's it's extenuating circumstances, you are in duress and you need that bread, try to ask your local Orthodox rabbi if we if it would be permissible for you under the circumstances. Have a wonderful day.